Yes, my hair is cleaner than it's ever been, and I use less shampoo now than ever. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got, uh, what am I doing now? Oh, I've got this, I, 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 I'm knocking off early today. It's five o'clock, well, it's not yet five o'clock, but I want to go to the store and get some food. And besides, this store is open just for me. There's no other people in this area, so why shouldn't I make use of it, for heaven's sake? Anyway, uh, let's see, I've got this, oh, I gave to, I, so I, my main thing these days is, uh, Shoring up my security, and of course you can't talk about your personal security too much because then it shows people how to attack you, and I think that that's what the good surveillance want me to do. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I can't see if I don't have these on. Okay, so uh, anyway, today I already sealed the envelope, so I can't read what I said, but I, I uh, did a charity I did today. Uh, after I knocked out for my security is animal equality. And these people are very concerned about the inhumane uh, treatment of animals and I'm really pleased, I'm really happy that there are people that care so much about animals that they want to see that they're uh, taken care of this way. Now, uh, I wrote them a letter and I said that I was going to send them, uh, I was going to pledge to send them a donation later. I want to, I wrote, it was kind of a lengthy letter. I've written this letter to other uh people before and it's a similar letter and I hope that they won't feel I, th I think that they'll realize you know I, I, I copied and pasted a lot of the same letter from a previous letter because it covers the same issues and everything but uh, uh, you know I, I think I can just say off the top of my head what I wrote uh, uh, you know we've got this government I think many people are are uh, they, don't, they might not understand how our government works, but you know, nowhere in the Constitution, I think I've written, said about this before, I'll say it again, uh, nowhere in our Constitution does it say anything about uh, murder being against the law. And the Founding Fathers were figuring, and they rightly did, that, uh, <coughs> that the states would make it against the law. And, 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 and they, they, because what it was, and they left it out. They left many things out of the Constitution. And that was because uh, they, they, they didn't want the federal government to be uh, into everything. And of course, uh, what happens so much of the time is that if something bad is happening and all the states won't get involved, uh, people say, well, we should make a federal law. And of course, the, and what it is is, uh, if you're going to do that, the, the federal government's going to be everything, and the states aren't going to have any rights. And and and, uh, uh, and it was uh, it's a wonderful. Uh, 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 I mean, they're just it, it, people want to. It's 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 sort of like our, we have a balance of power in our our form of government. Uh, I, I the thing I often quote is King David. You know, King David, he was such a wonderful man. Uh, uh, he had such promise. He killed uh, when he in his you know he 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 slayed, slayed Goliath. You know, at a time, if you really read the scriptures, I mean, when he slayed Goliath, it was at a time when uh, there was this race of giants and they were going to destroy the Israel, and and uh, it was at a very crucial time. And and uh, David was just a boy with a sling, and he went up against this guy. And a giant. The guy was, and and there's archaeological evidence that there really was a race of giants at this time uh, that that were threatening people, and and and, uh, uh, and I mean to go up against any of these people with a spear or anything, you know, is just, uh, uh, I mean, by yourself was just uh, an act of suicide. And uh, David, but he was a shepherd and he had a sling and he knew how to use it. And, and and the other thing, he, this guy was blaspheming terribly, and and uh, David was just like, I mean, he was this wonder. He's just wonderful, faithful young man, and uh, uh, he went up against this guy, and, and and part of the reason he knew he was going to do it is just because he didn't believe the he knew the Lord wouldn't let this guy live because he was such a bad. He was saying such terrible things, and and uh, uh, and he was just this boy that showed all this promise and he was faithful to God uh, King Saul he had to hang, hide out from King Saul because he was so uh, they were singing songs like David was killing like ten times as many of the of Israel's enemies as King Saul was and they were singing songs about him 
and they're making bigger songs than King Saul. And King Saul, he was so angry about it. One time he chucked a spear at David. <laughs> and David was faithful. I mean, he was like, well, uh, I'm not. There are people that were like, yeah, well, let's raise an insurrection against Saul, uh, David, and you can lead it. And David was like, no, no, I, I, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to uh, work for the present, present government. And I'll hide out from him for a while and wait till he cools off. And, and uh, anyway, David uh, ended up uh, ha having a sexual inter an affair with a Bathsheba, who was one of his leading uh, captains uh, in war's uh, wife. And, and, and of course, uh, what it shows, and see what it is, is there's these really bad people that, that snuggle up to you in government when you're high up in government. And they, they're, they're extortionists, and they want to get the goods on you. And, they, and I think what happened was they, they got this plan together. Uh, for and, and there are men that are in the military that will do this kind of thing. Hey, you know, I don't like this guy. Let's, 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 get, him, let's get him killed. You know, I don't like this guy. You know, uh, he's my enemy and I don't like him, you know, so let's get rid of him. Anyway, what he did was, uh, and this is, you know, if you read the scriptures carefully, what happened was uh, David uh, 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 ordered, he, th this, <coughs> this guy went into battle and then the, 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 the troops that were supposed to be backing this guy up retreated so that this guy and his men got killed. And of course, then David was free to marry Bathsheba. And then, I think I've explained this before, then Nathan the prophet, you know, told us, figured it out and told everybody, and, you know, David was put to shame and everybody figured it out, you know, and uh, of course, so. Uh, but uh, 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 what it is is that absolute power corrupts absolutely, and that's why we have balances of power between the states and so forth. So uh, anyway, I explained this in my letter, and, and uh, you know, it's really important uh, not to keep going to the federal government and having them uh, uh, legislate things. We should stick in our state governments. And all the state governments aren't going to uh, uh, go along with everything. And, 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 and uh, but, but we're going to, uh, it, there's, we're going to end up with a military dictatorship if we keep going to the federal government and, and keep getting it expanding and expanding and expanding and it's already out of control. We're, there's so many people that are uh, either getting money from the federal government or actually work for the federal government uh, that, that it's impossible to get a, 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 a anybody elected that, that isn't for increasing the size of the federal government. That's how bad it is. Uh, so uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm. So I, anyway, I wrote about that, but I, I, I told her that I wanted to, uh, Sharon Nunez, that I, I wanted to uh, send. I, I would pledge to give it at a later time. Now, I'm going to knock off at five o'clock because I just think that <laughs> I don't know. There was this this one woman that said, you know, she would tell her kids that the Holy Spirit goes to bed at eight o'clock. <laughs> you know, it's like you don't think. You don't think well after that. You know, you start making bad decisions. She was trying to tell her kids to, you know, come in, come home early. You know, don't stay up till really late and do foolish. You know, you, you might end up doing something you're sorry for. Anyway, uh, so that's what I said to animal equality, and I'm dropping things here on my desk. Okay, and uh, now let's see. Now that I've given this long story about King David, I've forgotten what I was going to say about uh, this annual fund. It's, it's from the uh, United States Deputy Sheriff's Association, and uh, they're they're hoping to raise. Now I don't care, you know. They're hoping to raise enough money for nine bulletproof vests, and I don't care if it's for one policeman or a thousand policemen. I think it's worth uh, getting. I don't care, you know what. And if it's a policeman that feels he's going to get into a dangerous situation and he wants one, then he ought to have one. And, and, and for heaven's sake, he's putting his life on the line. Don't we owe it to them to uh, uh, get them one of them? So anyway, <coughs> anyway, I, I, I was going to return a similar letter to them, uh, you know, pledging us to support. And, and I just think, you know, uh, you know, I just think they're wonderful. And anyway, these guys... They also what they also do is they encourage 
individuals and community groups to assist with local law enforcement in preventing crime, working with our community groups, giving citizens opportunity to volunteer their local for their local law enforcement. And this really does a lot for the police. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, just helping them out these neighborhood watch groups and. Uh, getting local leaders to organize more collaboration between community groups and sheriff's departments that yield that uh, crime reduction as well as economic development and outcomes such as neighbor safety and revitalization initiatives uh, encourage your school board to encourage more gang prevention and youth safety as well as youth school safety training programs with local law enforcement educators also volunteer your personal time to join local mentoring groups for at-risk youth Check your local law enforcement agencies for additional citizen volunteer opportunities, which may include performing clerical tasks, such as an extra set of eyes and ears, assisting with search and rescue activities, writing citations for accessible parking violations, assisting our local sheriff's departments in this way will allow them to focus on their primary frontline duties of saving lives and keeping our communities safe from crime. Partner with your municipal and community groups and neighbors. I think I read that. Okay, yeah, and the other thing these guys do is they train um, security people that work in schools and and uh they give them some really uh some training that they don't get i mean i mean you, you know how to take down somebody who's a shooter you know uh, uh and, and they they can really do something to protect uh you know the the, the our, our children you know when there's these these uh, school shootings so uh they're doing really a really good thing here anyway i'm just gonna write write him fill that out now it's it's going to get near five o'clock i want to go out i'm going to knock off for today and god bless you thank you for listening thank you for caring thank you for taking care of your children and getting them to pray for me thank you for getting them up in the middle of the night when something is really urgent and getting them to pray for me i kind of think that you know i i kind of think I, you know that video I, I think many of you saw it the other day of uh, uh you know, it was the one about the the, the, the apostle who, who uh, you know, even though he works at the church, you know, a lot of people would really like to know what goes on in their church and the meetings of the church. And this guy, he doesn't take it home with him. I mean, he's trying to save people's lives, you know, and, and figure out where the money in the church should go and, and how the church should care for so many people. And, and, and sometimes this affects people's lives. I mean, it's life and death a lot of the times. It really is. And, and, and uh, you know, I've gone out with missionaries that, 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 that get up in the middle of the night to give somebody a blessing who's dying. I mean, the, the, ch the church really uh, cares for people. And, 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 uh, but this guy doesn't take it home with him, you know. And, and I think, well, you know, what so much of it is, is, is to make the world a place where we can all have a family life. And I think that's what I need to do, too. <laughs> you know, I, I need to uh, uh, take some time off every evening and enjoy my life a little bit. So, uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's as far as I got. I've got other letters here that I want to get to. And I've also got some security issues I've got to take care of tomorrow. You know, I, I don't return it. I, I read these letters from the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, but I don't say anything about them i don't write them anything because uh you know I, I i give them you know i make a pledge every week and i think they know that but you know i they're they're really but i don't know you know maybe i, I <coughs> it's good to say something about about them when you can find time anyway i'm not gonna say uh, i i hope that i have time to get to these uh, I, <coughs> I mean they can really pile up these things can pile. anyway i'm doing the best i can you know that uh, so anyway I love you guys and uh, uh, say hi to your family and 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 and, and don't take and I, I don't know I hope you're not taking your work home with you either I, I know there was this one uh, I'm gonna tell one more story I won't been talking 15 minutes <coughs> there was this guy I I always I really admired Joseph Smith I mean he would people he when people had trouble see the church is really small and everybody knew him. Everybody in the church had some kind of interaction with him where they felt that they know him. They knew him. I mean, you could read, there's a book, I can't remember the t name of it, but it's, it's about all, it has all these uh, little stories in it of people, how they knew Joseph Smith and what they thought of him and what they, how they knew he was a prophet. And uh, anyway, one of these stories is his neighbor. <laughs> well, well I, no, I'll, 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 I don't know if I can work that in, but, uh, 
anyway, this, uh, this Joseph Smith, he was the kind of guy, he's like, well, I mean, like, if you're a missionary, I think it's like, it helps you become like Joseph Smith, because these guys work like 12 and 14 hour days. And see, what it is, is when they come home, you know, like, women, they'll say, you know, woman's work is never done, I mean, I mean, like, for instance, if your kid is sick in the middle of the night, you get up in the middle of the night, you take care of the baby, <laughs> you know, or, or and stuff like that, you know, the kids make a mess in the bathroom, and you clean it up, because you can't just leave a bunch of, uh, you know, human waste on the floor, you know, I mean, it's, you can't do that, so, so, but anyway, Joseph, he was the kind of guy that would come home, and uh, help his, after he'd, <coughs> he'd worked our day, would come home and help his wife around the house. And <laughs> there was a testimony in this book about one of his neighbors. And you, you would think, you know, Joseph Smith, he was always working really, really hard for the behalf of the saints. And a lot of the saints didn't understand him. You know, he didn't get, always get a lot of compassion from the saints. You would have think that some guy that was his neighbor would, you know, uh, have some kind of compassion for him or just try to be his buddy, you know. But this guy, he, he wrote this thing, Joseph Smith, I mean, he'll change his white diapers and his stuff and he'll talk to his kids and he does all these things that a man shouldn't do. That's women's work, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, and he, he would just said all these awful things about Joseph Smith, but he didn't realize he was saying them, you know. And, and I mean, I just think, what a life... But I don't think it affects Joseph Smith's family life at all. I mean, I think his wife loved him. His wife and kids loved him. And he, he'd come home and he had a family life. He'd show him how much he loved him and care for his kids and stuff like that. You know, he had a... Uh, 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 he, he worked really hard, but he came home to his family. And uh, anyway, God bless him. I love him. And I love uh, Brother uh, uh, Legrand. And he's, he's a wonderful guy. And... Uh, I don't know. I, I hope to be. I really think if I work at it, I think if you work at it, I think we're all working at it, aren't we? At, at, at having a family life that like. God bless you. God bless your family. I'll leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.